Welcome back. I'm back with my companion. And uh, we're actually at the Sphinx right now. And uh, as you can see, it's a very lovely, beautiful, it's been as kept and as dry as it possibly can. And it looks like there's actually uh, zombie pigeons up there. I don't know, what are those pigeons doing? You know, how, how dare they to do that? They're staying in the, in the shade of the Sphinx. Of the Sphinx yeah. They, they they make sometimes little little holes and they stay yeah. in the shape. Do you think they maybe contribute to actually damaging the statue in a way? Uh, they keep picking, picking I think at it? That I'm afraid, uh, yeah, on the long run it, yeah. it will probably be like a kind of a damage yeah. for the Sphinx and for the head of this great king. But I think they cannot help it, or they cannot stop it. Yeah, I think like in the if the king was here and his guards, I think they they would shoot arrows and just kill the pigeons. Yes, you I know, think so. I don't think that would have been allowed that then, would it? No, they would have never allowed that to happen. Yeah. That was the king and the guard for them. So. Yeah, that's a great deal of disrespect by those pigeons. Yes, yeah. yeah. so, it's cute, but I mean, uh, the mess to make there, the doo doo. Um, how long did that think actually take to make then? Uh, it was just fashioned and carved. I think it was like carved fully and polished and painted yeah. in like a year. A year? That's, that's quite fast. The pyramids yeah. took about 20 years because to make. Imagine how many people were working for the king yeah. at the same time to do this, to achieve this. Uh -huh. Some were fashioning and carving the stone, some were polishing the, the statue, some were paint, doing the paint. And yeah. It was lots of people working at the same time. Yeah. And each group of them had a certain job to do to achieve this as fast as possible. So about the the nose, which is actually damaged. Uh, also, there's been rumours like they're saying that Napoleon's men have been uh, firing arrows for target practicing. But uh, that's like obviously the, you know it's possible, but we don't believe that it's a, it's a rumour. Personally, but it could be like you know many other people who have done that. People are jealous and don't like it, or see it adultery or something. Yeah. But you know we see it as as a restoration for what it is. It's like the art that they created to symbolise the Egypt, you know, symbolise the, the compliment, the temples. Mm -hmm. And it does look really nice and it, and it shoots it there and it should stay as it is. And it, I mean, if, if it prevents it from uh, from actually collapsing or sinking down to the ground by actually restoring it, like by working on it even, I know it kind of spoils it, the image, I know the architect won't want it to sink, but I, I know that he won't want it to um, maybe, yeah, to restore and stuff. But, you know, like, if it's the only way, because it's happening all around the world in Athens, they do a similar thing, they're building on the temples and all the yeah. bricks, they're restoring it, you know, to keep it up. Otherwise, if they don't, it's all, it's all going to collapse. So it's, it's best, and, and even like looking at it, it still looks, you know, a bit authentic as it could possibly be. And you will, most people wouldn't know unless they've actually been told, unless you see it from Athens. But it's very nice, uh, you know, we've had a great time out here, and we're looking at some more things, aren't we? Yeah.